flowers just early on, man. From the first time we saw you, um, you promoted independence, entrepreneurship, uh, the power of self. When uh, you, Jay and Biggs, put together Rockefeller Records, you guys somehow knew the power of ownership. How did you know? How did you know, Dan? You know, I've always dealt with things with logic, you know, over emotion. So, you know, us being told to give away all of our equity and things for a price, that was a pattern that's been implemented to control us, and it just never made sense to me. So I just went what was logical, what made sense, you know, to work for something that I can own, that I can pass to my children, and that I can get residual income from, you know? It just, was, it just seemed obvious to me. And Dame, I mean, you were a young man. Was that just something, was it innate? Did you have a family member? How did you know? Because again, not only did you believe that, you practiced it, and when, when the rubber met the road, you guys held on to your, you know, your, your creation. Did you have somebody influence you? You know, a lot of people influenced me in a lot of different ways, but I think it was my survival skills. I'm sorry, Damon, before this answer, can you tilt your camera up just a little bit? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I think, like I was oh, saying... Okay, um, we're good. So, sorry. Go ahead and start, restart that answer for me, thanks. I really think it was my survival skills in the street, you know, the things that we had to do to survive, you know, the recourse was death in jail. And um, again, it was us hurting our own culture. But, you know, in learning how to survive, you understand how you have to be a boss and, you know, you kind of appreciate everything in business. So I just applied that to, uh, you know, the regular world or at least, you know, the music business and anything else that I've approached. It's always been as a boss. I just, you know, again, I think there's patterns and programs. My program is boss. You know, some programs, people are programmed to think they should be working for somebody. And, you know, the higher level that they can get to in someone else's infrastructure is how they rate their success. I rate my success on how much I can do for my family and how much they can benefit, not myself. And you influence so many people with that philosophy. So, Dame, you know, in America, people always say green is the only color that counts. Now, You've been in boardrooms and at the table in rooms that many of us have not been in. Is that true? Is, is green the, you know, the, the only thing that counts, the color of money, or are there other dynamics at play? To people that have no culture, that's all that counts. But love is the only currency, and the color of that, that's the only thing that counts to me. But for people that have lack of, that don't understand how to love themselves, they think money is going to bring them love. Money never brings you love. It actually brings you hate. You know, the only thing that brings you love is love. Wow, man, great, <laughs> great concept. So, Dave, you discovered a lot of talent. Uh, are the dynamics the same? You know, you've been in the game for some time. And again, you know, all you gotta do is Google all of your great finds and the people you're associated with who you saw early on. Is it the same? Has it changed or is it the same game? Meaning which game? The, the, as far as seeing talent. Oh, yeah. You know, usually what happens is I'm doing something that's great, and then I'll let somebody showcase their talent on my platform. So, and then they become great. And while they're on my platform, I teach them how to be great so they can go be great independently of me. And, you know, I think my record speaks for itself. So you don't come around me unless you know how to get rich. My students graduate, and they end up on Forbes with billions next to their names. Definitely. So look, speaking of your platform, Dame Dash Studios, you just got a, a new relationship, new partnership with Fox Soul. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, Dame Dash Studios has been existing for a while. We've been making content. We have a streaming service. And <coughs> Fox, Fox Soul has a distribution. <coughs> and um, we've been putting our content on Fox Soul. And we've been doing a lot with making content to put on Fox Soul. And on Saturdays, from, I think, you know, for four hours, from four to eight, we're playing nothing but Dame Dash Studios content on Fox Soul. So it's a great synergy, great way to bring the right word to the right people, and I love the model. So it's definitely a great partnership, and I look forward to seeing where this goes. So for me, this is the equivalent of me getting a deal. Let, let me put it in terms people may understand. So remember, I got a deal with Def Jam, and then what came with Def Jam was Universal, right? 
It's the same kind of thing. You got Fox Soul and then you got Fox. That partnership is huge. You know, the potential is huge. The resources. It's a strategic alliance with people that do the things that I don't do well, they do well. But the things that they don't do well, I do really good. But so many hats there. I heard you talk about, uh, I think in the interview, saying that you, you like being an artist. But you, you, you've been on all sides of the spectrum from the, the creator to the artistic side. Which one do you enjoy the most at this point in your life? Creator. I'm not the best businessman. Matter of fact, I might say I'm the worst businessman because I won't just do anything for money. You know, I'll only do what makes me feel all right. So, you know, I've only made a business model off of doing things for money that I would only do, that I would do for free. So you can't pay me to do something for money. You can only pay me to do something that I would do anyway. Like, you know, someone would play a video game anyway, but they might make a million dollars a year doing it. That kind of thing. Okay, so look, before we get out of here, man, tell us about The Prince of Detroit before we wrap. So The Prince of Detroit is a, a biopic that I shot about Tommy Duncan. We produced it together and his crew wrote it. And it's about a black entrepreneurial family that didn't make their money from entertainment or sports, but from healthcare. And, you know, his stepfather um, and his mom were the first to buy, the first black people to have a hospital in Detroit. They bought it in distress and made a bunch of money there, but then they kind of lost it. And then Tommy and his uh, mom put a company together and recently sold it for like $120, $150 million. So I think those stories need to be told about black lineage and what it looks like, you know, to actually make money other than being a distraction. The legendary Damon Dash joining us on Great Day Washington. Dame, thanks for all you've done and continue to do. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, watch out for the Prince of Detroit, Dame Dash Studios, Blue Rock, um, Poppington. Here's the merch, all that. You know, it's a great experience. And I appreciate the, the synergy and the partnership with Fox Soul. Look out for us on Saturday. Fox Soul. All right. Thanks, Dame. Thanks so much for your time, brother. And uh, it's going to air on Friday, okay? All right, bro. And I love Poppington, man. I, now I lost some weight so I can now get into some, uh, some, of, the, <laughs> some of the products. Well, send us an address. We got you. We just got some new basketball shorts in, some new hoodies. We, it's a lifestyle. We got everything. All right. All right. I definitely do that. Thanks, man. Be safe. All right, bro. Thank you.